hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Nosa I'm a medical doctor in the UK and I make videos on medicine and lifestyle so today I thought I should update you guys you know as a follow-up from my previous vlog on the coronavirus I kind of let I kind of left things off on a like you know saddish note because I was upset about you know the BAME healthcare professionals dying um, disproportionately to compared to other professionals so um, anyway, since then, which was about a month ago since I made that video, I think things have gotten better. I'm personally seeing less COVID-19 patients. I'm also seeing, I'm also hearing about less deaths on the news, even though I don't really watch the news that much because it's just bad vibes these days, okay? But anyway, I'm, I'm feeling positive about the future. I think things are slowly going to return back to normal. I know there's quite a bit of hope about a vaccine. I mean, I'm not holding my breath on that. We'll see. It really depends like there's so much we still don't know about this virus and i don't think that expecting that we'll wait until a vaccine comes before everything goes back to a bit more normal is realistic because vaccines take a while to develop and if they rush through one the consequences might even be worse um than if we don't have one at all if that makes sense because I don't know if you guys have heard, I mean, this, this medication was not a vaccine, it's just, there's one medication that stands out whenever people talk about, you know, drug experiments or drug trials going wrong, it's thalidomide, it was a medication that they used to treat nausea or sickness um, in pregnant women, and I started to find that those women that took th that medication ended up with babies that were amputees, so babies would come out missing one limb or the other and to be honest that's the one story i think about whenever i think about any medication that's just new to the market and especially when it has been rushed through now i don't think that's the case with thalidomide but i'm just saying that even for a medication that was apparently thoroughly like certified had gone through the clinical phase trials as usual um and only for it to come out and cause such like grave consequences for the patient i think it's worth like you know them taking their time to develop a vaccine for coronavirus if they're going to develop one as opposed to coming out with one that's you know haphazard basically on a side note with regards to why BAME professionals are dying they've come out with a hypothesis there's no evidence for it but they've said that you know it could be due to low vitamin d levels and in general like we black brown people basically anyone with melanin in their skin is more is more likely to suffer from low vitamin D levels just because the melanin sort of prevents as much penetration of vitamin D from the sunlight to the skin and into your body so um, if you can I've been trying to do this as well go out for walks when the Sun comes out to try and get a lot of that vitamin D if you can boost your immune system in case and in case you do get this virus there's no harm doing that another thing I've actually incorporated into my daily routine is taking vitamin c as well um again there's no strong there's no like evidence that vitamin c improves improves the outcome for coronavirus but vitamin c in general you know improves your immune system so you kind of want to give your immune system the best chance it's got during this you know crazy times but yeah um i'm chilling today having an off day kind of noticed i'm quite close to 3,000 subscribers and to be honest i can't believe that many of you guys want to watch me like i really really appreciate it and i hope i can keep helping you guys and adding some value for you um if you've got any questions if you want me to do any specific videos you can make a comment of the videos down below and i'll definitely take that on board if there's enough interest in a video then i will definitely do a video on it if i put out something you like and you want me to keep making more of those videos just like those videos and comment so i know that okay this is the kind of stuff you like and you want me to keep making that another announcement i've got actually is that i've actually found that i passed my foundation year two training which is amazing i'm very very happy um obviously i still need to do the time until end of july august but um the fact that i already know that you know i kind of completed the requirements for this year and i'm going to be starting as a gp trainee in august in london by the way so i'm so happy as well so yeah and i'm just going to chill and be lazy today and i'll catch up with you guys shortly 